Hello, I would like to offer a quick overview of what a paradox is in a very short video. I'm going to offer a much more in-depth analysis on paradox later, or more specifically, the axioms of paradoxes um, and flesh out in much, much greater detail how to think about paradoxes and some of the um, important aspects to take away. But we're going to do a brief overview today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Because I want to roll right into it, I'm not going to go into very deep detail as to our outline. It's pretty simple and pretty short. So let's talk about what a paradox is. So a good way to think about it is uh, a relationship or state of affairs in the world which cannot possibly be. Or it's a logical contradiction. Both of these things are roughly the same thing. Uh, both of these things are roughly how we think about paradoxes. Let's take an example. This statement here, or this um, this pair of statements, right? So the first one says the following statement is true. The next one says the previous statement is false. Clearly, both of these cannot be true. For one to be true, it negates the possibility that the other could be true. Or when one is confirmed to be true, it automatically negates the possibility that the other could be true. Um, so this is what we would think of as a paradox. This pair of statements together is a paradox. It's a state of affairs which both can't be true at the same time. Or it's a state of two states of affairs which are mutually exclusive which is where we're going to go next. So the idea of mutual exclusivity could be could be expressed in this way, thinking about things in terms of categories, which is um, where we're eventually going to be going with, uh, with this discussion is on categories. So if we are thinking about taking a college course, you take a college course, at the end of that course, you're probably going to get some kind of letter grade, at least that's the way it is in the United States. The letter grade that you get um, might fall into the greater category of passing. So we have a large category, that which counts as passing, and several different letters, uh, letter grades, um, A, B, C, and depending on your college, possibly D, which are going to fit into this category. You cannot get an A and B those concepts are mutually exclusive. The letter grade that you earn, whatever letter grade it is, excludes the possibility that you could get any other letter grade. Uh, any number of these, A, B, or C, possibly D, might count as passing. That's inclusive in the larger category of passing grade, whereas each of the grades that you could possibly get are all mutually exclusive from each other. Um, so this is, I think, a pretty easy way to think about uh, the relationship for a paradox, right? You can't have an A and a B, that would be a paradox. You have one or the other because they're mutually exclusive. So another way to think about this, and this is the, the main takeaway that I'd like you to get from the idea of paradox, that which is, is mutually exclusive from that which cannot possibly be the case. That which is, is mutually exclusive from that which cannot possibly be the case. Uh, this is going to be true of any linear progression through time, right? Uh, the fact that I'm sitting here and not somewhere else means that that is possibly true. Um, every other possibility for me, uh, every other possible place for me to be is by exclusion necessarily not true. It couldn't be that I am also somewhere else at this point in time because otherwise that would be a paradox. Right, so that which is, is mutually exclusive with that which cannot possibly be the case. This sounds like a tautology and I would understand um, that line of thinking, but it is what we would call an ampliative statement. Even though it seems like a tautology, there is some information that we can, uh, additional information aside from what is built into the basic ideas of, of this definition, it tells us information above and beyond that. Uh, 
because we can take this and reverse it, that which cannot possibly the be, be the case, helps us understand what is, right? When we exclude huge chunks of metaphysical possibility be, be, because they cannot possibly be true or they are paradoxical or they form a logical contradiction, that helps us understand more concretely that which is, right? So there's a great deal that this can tell us. Uh, this, what seems like a tautology, is actually a very useful, very ampliative statement which gives us um, knowledge, which is very helpful when we're trying to establish ideas within pure reason. Pure reason is where we make abstractions, we, we take ideas or t concepts of particulars that we found in the world and we abstract about their characteristics, their essential properties, uh, that which is necessarily true about them. Uh, when we are doing this, when we remove from the material world these concepts to mull them over in our minds, this is abstraction. This is something that we do in a realm of pure reason. When we're in a realm of pure reason, we can think about these paradoxes and consider the possibility that our understanding of what is um, mutually exclusive, what kind of relationships that's going to mean, uh, we can think about what that means so far as what we can possibly know about it. It also means that we can entertain the idea of paradoxical existence, or we can think about the fact that I could be in two places at the same time. What would that mean? Right? That's not something that we can experience in the real world. That's not something that uh, our understanding of material reality helps us come to terms with we have to uh, engage with these ideas in the realm of pure reason. Now, of course, there's going to be some disconnect when we try and take these ideas uh, that we've abstracted, constructed, reconstructed, or rebuilt, or reframed in uh, this realm of pure reason, and then try to put those ideas back into the world. Uh, but that's something for another video. So I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you, and uh, have a great day.